Now, according to Jill at PennDOT, there's uh, plans that have been in the works for a few years, and they were not in direct response to the tragic death of Alyssa Hall. But PennDOT will be reevaluating speeds and pedestrian safety in response to her accident. A lot of money, a lot of work. Let's head across the border now. East we go to New York State, where some lawmakers are pushing for more money in the budget to expand abortion access. Tonight, our New York State Capitol Bureau reporter talking to lawmakers and advocates about the idea. This session, the Senate and the Assembly introduce a bill to establish a grant program for medical interns and residents to receive training on abortion and other related reproductive health services. Last week, the Senate advanced this bill in their one house budget resolutions. Some lawmakers say while New York has strong laws protecting reproductive health, there is more they can do for New Yorkers and out of state residents looking for sanction. If we don't have enough health care providers who have the training to provide the services these women need, we flunk the test. It's as simple as that. The Senate put $6 million into their one house budget resolutions for this initiative. Some students say navigating medical school and residency in a time when states around the country are limiting abortion access, this legislation is pertinent, especially for students who sometimes don't have an abundance of choices for their education. If you only get into medical school in like Nebraska, um, that's where you're going to go because that's where you're going to get your medical training and you need to have access to states like New York State where you can get that training if you do end up there. For Tiffany Wynn, a 30-year-old medical student, she has seen this issue impact her as a patient and a student. Wynn had her now one-year-old daughter Violet in her first year of medical school. She says through her experience of having a child, it gave her a lot of comfort to know her doctors were experts in their field and she wants to have that same expertise. As a future provider, I want to know that my state cares about my education enough to prioritize my education and my training for the rest of my career. In Albany, Elise Klein, Erie News Now. And just to note, New York State's budget must be passed by the end of this month, which is coming very soon.